So I've been a Ring uh, customer for about two years. Uh, I was traveling. I'm a frequent traveler. Um, and I had an issue getting locked out of my camera system when I was resetting my password. Uh, when I tried to call Ring customer service, there was no way to um, verify me and get my account back open so I could see my cameras. My wife and daughter could not see what was happening outside the house at night. Uh, and so that was the problem that I had with Ring Camera. I was very disappointed. Uh, and that's why I did this interview. So in the middle of September, I was traveling um, and I have two Ring cameras, one on the back of my house and one on the front. Uh, and I lost the picture. So I attempted to uh, log into the app um, and it didn't allow me. It said I had an invalid password. So like I do on many apps, I went, I started to the process of restoring my password and the Ring app was sending a code and on my phone, because I was traveling, I moved to where the code was coming in, you know, copied the code. And then when I would go back to the Ring app, it would show me the input screen for putting the code in, but it would not let me type. So it timed out. Um, not realizing what was about to happen, I went through the process again. And same thing, as soon as I jumped over to get the code that they were sending and tried to return to the Ring app, it wouldn't let me type the code in. And again, it timed out. Well, the third time it timed out, it said, you're locked out of your security cameras for 24 hours. So I panicked a little bit because my wife and daughter were here at home alone. Uh, and I found a telephone number to get somebody on the phone. I contacted Ring and I got an agent on the phone. I'm not very polite, but that's beside the point. They immediately, without even explaining, we're sorry, you know, that you're having trouble, told me that I had attempted to reset the password three times and I was locked out for 24 hours and there was nothing they could do. And I, I mean, I was shocked. I've never seen a company the size of Ring not have some sort of process for identifying a customer who calls in over the phone. You have all my private information. That's how I signed up for the billing uh, and the service. And they just would not budge at all. And I said, you realize, you know, I'm a thousand miles away from my family and I can't see the protection systems that I put in place. You've locked me out of my cameras. And that was it. They wouldn't budge. I had to wait 24 hours, a solid 24 hours, the next day in the afternoon before I figured out, well, I'm not going to send the code to my phone. I'm going to send it to my email um, where I could retrieve it without leaving the Ring app. And I entered the code in. And of course, it reset my password and it let me back in. That's what happened. I was really disappointed. So first I talked to a normal agent who explained I was locked out of my ring camera system, it did not offer an apology and did not offer a solution. I asked to speak to a supervisor, which they put me on the phone with the supervisor. Um, but the supervisor quickly told me, there's nothing we can do. You've attempted to reset your password. This is the ring protocol and we can't reset your camera system for 24 hours. We don't have any way of doing it was the exact word they said. Um, and so it's just the way their system is set up uh, and nobody in the call center or supervisors can override that. I have two ring cameras, they're still installed. Each one costs $300 uh, and I pay $30 a month for the service of recording video uh, so that I can go back and watch it. Um, look, when I first bought Ring, I was happy. Uh, this, I haven't changed yet. I'm still using the two Ring cameras. They were a little expensive. Um, but I will tell you that I have other camera systems on my house. Uh, and if I have another problem with Ring, it's just not worth it to not have that security in mind of seeing 
you know, who's around my house or who's approaching my house. The other cameras aren't sitting at my front door. They're on the sides of my house uh, and on the corner in the back. So they don't have the exact same view as someone approaching uh, my back doors or the front door. So if I found another system that I read better reviews, I would probably change the cameras because I don't want the risk. I travel frequently of, of not being able to see what's going on around my house while I'm gone. I also want my family to see what's going on outside. You know, in the middle of the night, I don't want them answering the door uh, when they don't know who's outside. And the cameras provide that function as well. Well, first, they need multiple ways to verify someone's identity. You can't cut off a security system. I mean, you're not cutting off a soda machine. You're cutting off security, which is protection for somebody's family. So they need more than one solution. And so to verify someone, that's what I want. That's what I would ask them for. Uh, and two, I mean, how, how come they don't know about the app problem that doesn't allow people to type when they jump from the app to where the text message is coming in and come back to the app? Surely I'm not the first person to complain about that. They need to fix that problem or don't offer that way to do it. We can only email it, but they need to correct the problem of, because most people are going to use their phone. They're going to get the code on the phone, just like you do for many other apps. And they're going to come back to the app and want to be able to type it in. Um, and so those are the two remedies. One, multiple ways to verify someone's identity so they don't get cut off from their security system. And two, fix the problem on the app where people are coming back and getting stuck. Because on your website, Somebody has already responded with what I figured out, which is don't send the code to your phone, only use your email. So clearly that person has been through the problem or at least heard about it.